Good evening, YouTube, Booktube. This is Johnny. Thought I make a video, have a cup of tea. Yeah, I I realized I was gonna make a video. Well, I remembered my wife just left for church. It's a Sunday night here in West Michigan. It is it is March the thirty first. Tomorrow is April the 1st. It's a Sunday night, so my wife went to church, and I said to myself earlier today, when well, my wife is gone, I'm going to show in a video the used books I got at thrift stores last week because it's a new month, and I want to get these books down on the lower level. The lower level is where we have our library. Most of our books are down the lower level. The lower level is like an open basement. It has windows and it has a couch down there, an extra bed, and it has our library and, you know, laundry room and a bathroom and storage room. and But that's where I, we keep our books. When uh, we first started living in this house 28 years ago, our two sons uh, were down in the basement. They, that's where they grew up when they were up until they went to college. Of course, I think during college break they would come home sometimes for the summer. So anyway, these uh, are the used books that I got last week. Uh, first of all, I got this book uh, last week at a thrift store. I, think it was I went to Salvation Army. I got most of these books at Salvation Army. I went there and uh, they had a ton of stuff. I think I spent nine dollars for these books. Anyway, the first book I got at Salvation Army thrift store is called Dark Continent. Europe's 20th Century by Mark Mar Malzauer. Now, today I took a ton of books down into the lower level up here that was on my to be read table pile because it's a new month and a lot of those books I haven't touched in a couple of months. And I don't, I'm, I'm not going to get around to reading them. But one of the books. I recently showed was this book I got in the mail last week, The Marshall Plan, Dawn of the Cold War by Ben Steele. Well, I, I'm i going to keep this one up here, The Dark Continent, Europe's 20th Century, because I've been reading the chapter on uh, dealing with the rise of uh, Joseph Stalin in and Hitler in Nazi Germany in this book called Dark Continent. So I want, I've been reading these two together off and on, uh, The Marshall Plan and The Dark Continent. So you, know, you could say this is my to be read, what I'm going to be reading in the month of April. I am going to read The Marshall Plan in this book. Right now that's what I'm going to do. Well, I also have been reading, if you want to know what I'm going to read in the month of April, I've been reading this today, The Merry Men by Carolyn Schutt. I'm still reading this. This is really a big novel. I've read 345 pages, and it's 691 pages. And I've been reading The Accursed by Joyce Carol Oates, and I've read 319 pages, and it's... Oh, it's 665 pages. So I've been reading those last couple of weeks. So besides The Dark Continent, I got at the thrift store, The Tales of All Countries. These are like, these are like stories that, that out, it's by Anthony Trollope. From what I gather in his travels, he he wrote stories about people or th 
things that he met, and he wrote this series called Tales of All Countries. This is the second series. I have the first series down in the lower level in my Trollope collection. Then I found uh, this book by Ludwig, Ludwig Wittgenstein. These are major works. He was a philosopher. These are his works. He didn't really write much. <laughs> but I, I, to me, I have a biography on Wittgenstein, and I just wanted it, even though I don't understand anything in the book. <laughs> and then I've, I've been fine. I collect these, these... Uh, these mysteries, these George George Samit, Sinan, Samin, translated from the French, Marginet and Hotel Ma Majesty. There's a whole series of these, and if I see them around thrift stores, I buy them. I think Penguin's reprinting these. And then I found this novel called The Lazarus Project by Anna Star. Heman, Heman. This is uh, just looked interesting, so I got this. And then I found this book on American utopias. Came out in the 19th century. It was published, I think, in 1875. It was first titled "The Communistic Communistic Societies of the United States." It has a chapter on you know the Shakers. Uh, all these different utopian communities in the 19th century. Uh, so I got that. And then I picked up Ward Just. These are 21 stories and novellas. The Congressmen Who Love Flaubert. I collect the, the writings of, of Ward Just. And then I found by Donald Kagan on the origins of war. This is nonfiction. It's uh, it's called On the Origins of War and the Preservation of Peace by uh, he has chapters on the First World War, the Second World War, the Pun Second Punic War, the Cuban Missile Crisis, things like that. So it's on the origins of war. So then I found this biography on Frederick the Great by David Fraser. And then I found this kind of travel memoir, journals, Journey to Cyprus by Colin Thorban. Thorban Thorban. And then I found a I've been collecting the Novels of Tom Robbins. I didn't have this one, Steel Life with Woodpecker. And then uh, this is a nonfiction British history. Uh, England uh, Under the Stuarts by George McInclay Travelin. Travelin. I have this already in our library, but mine was an old paperback. And then I found another book on uh, the dictators, Hitler's Germany and Stalin's Russia by Richard Overly. This also I'm keeping up here to read when I uh, read about the Cold War and Stalin. And I want to read about Stalin and what it says in here. So these are the thrift store books I found last week. Was it? Oh yeah, I got some more. I forgot. I got some more. Yeah, I also got these books. Uh, our local Goodwill, and I found the last Buccaneer by Matthew Pearl. And I got this, no, I got this at the Humane Society bookstore, used bookstore the other day. Yeah, my wife and I went out to do errands. Yeah, I had to take my old, Do our old Dodge van into the car wash. It had been in a car wash in a couple of years. And, and I finally decided, hey, it's getting so dirty and it needed to be through the car wash. And we vacuumed it out. And then we stopped at the Humane Society my wife went to the Hobby Lobby store next door to the Humane Society thrift store 
to get a, some crafts things for our granddaughters. But this is, and I found the Bunker, the, the last of the Buccaneers by Matthew Pearl. And then I found some stories by Alan Bennett on of laying hands the stories. And then I found this book, Preparation for the Next Life, a novel by Ancius Leash. His father was Gordon Leash, a very famous literary figure. And then I went to another local th thrift store, Bibles from Mexico, and I f yesterday when I found these, a Rebecca West novel, The Sunflower, uh, Anita Bruckner, Lewis Percy, and then I, I got these two books. I have them already, but I got them from my roving library. As you all know, I keep in the back of my old Dodge van books. <laughs> I carry around with me extra books. And I got for my roving library van, The White, The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. I have this already. And then I found this old Pingman classic of Strindell's the Charter House of Parma. So I'll keep these in my van. I'm going to do a video when it gets really sunny and warm out. I'll show you in a video my roving library van collection of books. It's getting, I got at least 20 or th maybe more back in the, in the van. So yeah, I got these at, the other day just around here in town. So yeah, these are the used books I got last week for our library, for the the van library. And like I said, I've been reading The Merry Men by Carolyn Shute, reading The, the Accursed by Joyce Carol Oates. Been reading The Marshall Plan, The Dawn of the, Dawn of the Cold War by Ben Steele. And reading The Dark Continent, Europe's 20th Century. So these are the kind of things I read. Now, I, I am reading Christian books, but I left those in my study. And I'll do another video this week on what I've been reading. It. Well, I'll be reading through the month of April Christian books. I got I got a Christian book coming in the, in the mail this week. I'll show that book when it comes. I got I got a bunch of stuff coming in April. I mean, a lot of books are coming out in April. I got a new DC Boyle book novel coming in April. I got all kinds of stuff. And sure, tomorrow I volunteer at the library bookstore. Now Friday, I, this last Friday, I didn't volunteer at the library used bookstore because my wife had a colonoscopy. Col a colon, a colon, what was it? colon aspicy. So I had to be with her th when she was in the hospital for that procedure and spend the day with her. So I didn't go, I didn't volunteer, I wasn't at the library, used bookstore Friday. So not much else going on. I've still got a cold. I still don't feel well. Yeah, it's still cold today. It's like in the 20s. Right now it's sunny outside, but still not warm. Things are still kind of brown. We need we need some rain. We need what we need is warm, rainy April days. <laughs> the green things up here in West Michigan. So I showed you the thrift store books. I showed you what I'm reading. I told you about what's going on, and I will close. I thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for the comments and for just being who you are. <laughs> Until next time, bye.